Maboy Manila, Pope here. Today we have the Realme 9 4G smartphone in our hand. I know, I know, they released like a couple of Realme 9s already like the Realme 9 Pro, Realme 9 Pro Plus, and the Realme 9i. Well, for starters, all of those are 5G ready. And this one only supports 4G. Since 5G is one of the new standards on a mobile phone, having a 4G device is not entirely wrong. But we won't be talking about those, instead, we will be testing its gaming prowess. It is a camera phone, but let's see if it's also capable of gaming. Let's begin. Realme 9 4G has many features and specs to offer. First and foremost, it boasts a Super AMOLED display, which is paired with a 90Hz refresh rate, a 108 megapixel triple camera setup, and a 5000 mAh of battery, which is paired with a 33W fast charging. It is powered by Snapdragon 680 4G with a 6 nanometer of process. The 680 chipset is fast enough to handle games like Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. The configuration of our review unit is 8GB of RAM plus RAM expansion up to 5GB. It also has 128GB of storage. Installing 5 games that we usually use for game tests, it occupies almost 80% of its overall storage. The color variant of our review unit is Sunburst Gold. With the specs out of the way, let's start with the actual game review. We will be testing two mobile games, one FPS game, and two graphically demanding games. First, let's start with Mobile Legends. For Mobile Legends, all settings are maxed out except for the graphics quality, but we will be bumping it up to Ultra. We won't be having too many problems when it comes to Mobile Legends since the game runs pretty much on every phone as long as you have a decent RAM and a decent storage. As for the gaming experience, there are no frame drops or stuttering all throughout the game. The AMOLED panel plus the ultra graphics quality gives out an amazing display and bursts in colors. Even at team fights, you can see the colors pop plus no performance drop during all those animations. So with the max settings for Mobile Legends, we get 60 FPS with 100% stability. Next on our list is League of Legends Wild Rift. As usual, our settings are set to performance which is pretty much for a smoother experience. But we will be bumping it up to the max settings available. I don't understand the purpose of the frame rate option for Wild Rift since pretty much all the smartphones that I have reviewed with high refresh rate still doesn't get support for that. So let's hope that sooner or later we get a higher refresh rate support for Wild Rift, especially on the lower budget smartphones. As for the gaming experience, there are no visible frame drops or stuttering just like Mobile Legends. Everything runs smoothly with no issues at all. Even the device doesn't feel like it's getting warm. FPS was stable at 60 but there are times that we get a very small drop from 60 to 58 but that is not that visible during gameplay. So with the maxed out settings, we get around 58 to 60 FPS with 99% stability. Next on our list is Call of Duty Mobile. For its settings, it is set to medium graphics and medium frames, but high frames is available. We can pair high frames with low graphics quality, so we will stick to that for a smoother experience. For multiplayer mode, we get a smooth gameplay, no frame drops or stuttering curve. Even at gunfights or aiming down your sights, there are no visible performance drops. Device also doesn't feel hot, so playing for a longer time in this device won't be a problem. As for its battle royale mode with the same settings, well the performance is smooth but we didn't get the same experience as the multiplayer mode which is understandable since this one renders a bigger map. Although at gunfights we still get the same performance with no hiccups so no problem at all with the battle royale mode. So all in all both for multiplayer mode and battle royale mode we get decent performance. With the low plus high frames, we get 40 to 45 FPS with 98% stability for the multiplayer mode while for the battle royale mode, we get around 30 to 33 FPS with 97% stability. Now let's move forward to graphically demanding games. We started off with Honkai Impact. 
3. We will be testing it at max available settings and if it shows a performance drop, we will switch to a more balanced one. As you can see in the main menu with the maxed out settings, the graphics is already astonishing. During gameplay with the max settings, the gameplay is a bit clunky, it is slowing down and there are some performance drops in the middle of fights. So let's switch it up to a more balanced one. Now for the recommended settings, even though we don't get a higher smooth FPS and we are capped at 30 FPS, we still get the full animation of skills without having too many problems. Using multiple ultimate skills, animations is pretty much stable for the recommended settings. So with the recommended settings, we get 28 to 30 FPS with 98% stability. And last on the list is Genshin Impact. Surprisingly, our settings are set to smooth and I was expecting it to be set at the lowest. So we will be bumping up the FPS to 60 and see its performance. In terms of graphics, it is poor. To be honest, you can see the grains and the blurriness from the texture. As for the performance, it is not great but somehow manageable. Still, if you want to really enjoy this game, might as well look on a higher budget. So that is pretty much the gaming performance but we are still not done. Just by having a great gaming performance, you need something to back up your device. So let's talk about the battery. The Realme 9 4G is just like any regular smartphone. It is packed with a 5000 mAh of battery and that is paired with a 33 watts fast charging. For heavy usage, with a bit of gaming, we get about 11 hours and 55 minutes of screen time. So that can pretty much last us the whole day if you are outside during work or even you're on a trip. But if we are going to focus on gaming non-stop or binge watching a Netflix show, our battery can last for about 6-7 to seven hours assuming you are at home so charging the device won't be a problem. Juicing up the device from 0 to 100% took us about 1 hour and 5 minutes which is great. It means more time to game and less time to charge. So overall, for the starting price of 14,999 pesos, the Realme 9 4G is a pretty solid smartphone in 2022. Even though without the 5G support, it still offers impressive features in exchange for that. You get a 90Hz display along with a Super AMOLED panel, a whopping 108 megapixel sensor, and the gaming performance that it offers. Yes, it doesn't give out the premium vibe when it comes to looks, but what this device carries is pretty much a solid buy. So that is our gaming review of the Realme 9 4G. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Pope and Mabuhay Manila!